supporting a roster comprised of 13 freshmen, the Colgate women's lacrosse team will have no gaps on the field when it comes to leadership. In fact, the well-rounded crew has already proven its ability to tackle any obstacle in 2015, especially when the team members work together toward one common goal. Just a few miles off campus, Colgate's outdoor education staff offers groups like these Raiders a rewarding team-building experience. The ropes course was a great way for us to generate a lot of team bonding, especially early on in the season. Each year, you have a completely different team when you bring freshmen in and you're losing seniors, and this year we brought 13 freshmen in. Colgate's lucky number. So that's a lot of new girls, new faces to add to the team. Doing stuff off the field and kind of outside of the lacrosse realm really helps. And it was great to see some of the girls in different situations and the things that our outdoor ed staff was kind of asking them to do. So it's a good way to bond off the field, you know, and to get them motivated to work harder together for something that's not just lacrosse. I just think it gave everyone ability to have a voice. Everyone like kind of stepped up, everyone communicated with each other. It was really good for the freshmen especially because they they don't really know us as well and so now they have the ability to talk to us on the field. They know they can take charge, we'll listen to them. Everyone has their own voice and everyone can communicate to get the job done. It's always nice like the closer we get the more comfortable the freshmen feel on the field. Even when it comes to just like driving and taking the ball to cage like they're not afraid to like take chances and stuff which is really good. And it was great to see some of the freshmen bringing up strategies and the upperclassmen kind of quiet and sitting there listening but it definitely puts them in situations that you're going to experience when we're on the field. You know those tight games when there's a couple minutes left and we're either tied or we're down by one, you know, they're going to be able to communicate to each other and make sure that they get that communication across to what should be the best strategy to win this game. So they learned a lot from that from the ropes course. It was just something different than lacrosse. It was something that you had to work together in a different aspect. It was just nice having something to work together on that wasn't a game. We're a family on and off the field. And I think it shows through having trust in each other, knowing each other's personal level of confidence and getting to know the person, you're able to get to know how they play, not just skill wise, but emotionally. If it's like building someone up and finding a way to like put a smile on their face that day, knowing how to do that for everyone on our team is definitely beneficial. And it shows through every day in practice. I think it just makes everyone like comfortable with each other and it helps us communicate a lot. You know, like how some people respond. If you need to say like, come on, pick up your game or if like you need to pull them to the side. We're a really close team and that really translates on the field. So our senior goalie, Jenny Berglin, was on a team with one of our junior attackers, Taylor Fisher. They were paired up and Taylor was up on the high ropes course and she kind of got stuck at one point and I guess it was kind of quiet. Taylor didn't really know what to do and all of a sudden you hear Jenny. Yeah, I'm coming for you, Tay. I'm coming for you, Tay. So she kind of comes in to rescue her, and they still like talk about that. It was the funniest thing because Jenny's very tall. She has very long limbs, so she was kind of like up there owning the ropes course that day. So she came to Taylor's rescue. The Raiders enter the 2015 season with an extra boost of confidence, knowing that every teammate will be right there to support one another during the highs and lows that come with a competitive Division One schedule. For the Page League Network, I'm Melanie Pulowski.